Both Linux and Windows are well-known operating systems. When we talk about comparing these two, we should first understand what an operating system is and then get to know the basics of Linux and Windows before starting with the comparison between them. An operating system is low-level system software that handles the computer's hardware and software resources and facilitates the computer's basic functions like task scheduling, resource management, memory management, controlling peripherals, networking, etc. Linux and Windows OS, there are several operating systems that are available in the market. In the world of desktop, the most dominant OS is the Microsoft Windows, which enjoys a market share of approximately 83%. Following that, we have Mac OS by Apple Inc. and Linux in the second and third place respectively. In the mobile sector, which comprises of both tablets and smartphones, the two most dominant operating systems are Google's Android and Apple's iOS. Talking about servers and supercomputer sector, Linux distributions take the lead here. Microsoft Windows is a group of many GUI-based operating systems developed and offered by Microsoft. It mainly targets the personal computing market. Windows OS has two versions I, 32 bits and 64 bits, and is available in both clients as well as server versions. Windows was first released in the year 1985, the latest client version of Windows in Windows 10 which was released in the year 2015. Talking about the most recent server version, we have Windows Server 2019. Linux is a group of Unix-like operating systems based on the Linux kernel. It belongs to the family of free and open source software. It is usually packaged in a Linux distribution. Linux was first released in the year 1991. It is most commonly used for servers. However, a desktop version of Linux is also available. Windows Architecture User Mode User Mode has integral subsystems and environment subsystems. Integral subsystems include fixed system support processes, like session manager and login process, service processes, like task scheduler and print spooler service, security subsystem, for security tokens and access management and user applications. Environment subsystem acts as a link between the user mode applications and the OS kernel functions. There are four primary environment subsystems I, Win32, POSIX, OS2, and Windows subsystem for Align. Roman 2 kernel mode. Kernel mode has complete access to hardware and computer system resources. It executes the code in a protected memory area. It consists of executive, microkernel, kernel mode drivers, and hardware abstraction layer. How? Windows executive services are further divided into various subsystems. They are mainly responsible for memory management, I.O. management, thread management, networking, security, and process management. The microkernel lies between Windows Executive and HAL. It is responsible for multi-processor synchronization, thread scheduling, interrupt, and exception dispatching, trap handling, initializing device drivers, and interfacing with the process manager. The kernel mode device drivers enable Windows to interact with hardware devices. HAL is a layer between the computer hardware operating system. It is responsible for controlling I.O. interfaces, interrupt controllers, and various processors. Linux architecture. As we can see in the above figure, Linux architecture also has two layers I, user space and kernel space. Within these layers, there are four main components I, hardware, kernel, system call interface, ACA shell and user applications or UTs. The hardware is comprised of all the peripheral devices which are attached to the computer such as terminals, printer, CPU, RAM. Now comes the monolithic kernel which is the core of the OS. The Linux kernel has many subsystems and other components too. It is responsible for a lot of critical tasks like process control, networking, accessing peripherals and file system, security management and memory management. Differences between Linux and Windows Linux vs Windows has been a subject of argumentation since the inception of these two OS. Let us an in-depth look into how Windows and Linux are different from each other. Linux and Windows Security Comparison while talking about security, the Linux is open source. However, it is very difficult to break through and hence it is a highly secure OS when compared to the other operating systems. Its high-tech security is one of the main reasons for Linux popularity and enormous use. Meanwhile, Linux is open source and has a strong user community. As the entire user base has access to the source code, they can monitor for issues and there are high chances for any vulnerability to be caught earlier than the hackers targeted. Moreover, Linux users will investigate and fix the issue then and there as it is open source. This way, Linux receives a great level of maintenance from its community of developers. 
On contrary to this, Windows users can't fix the issue by themselves as they don't have the permission to modify the source code. If they catch any vulnerability in the system, then they will need to report it to Microsoft and then wait for it to get fixed. Linux and Windows Performance Comparison The fact that a majority of the fastest supercomputers of the world that run on Linux can be attributed to its speed. Linux has a reputation for being fast and smooth while Windows 10 is known to become slow and slow over time. Linux runs faster than Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 along with a modern desktop environment and qualities of the operating system while Windows is slow on older hardware. Talking about the core capabilities of OS like thread scheduling, memory management, I.O. handling, file system management, and core tools, overall Linux is superior to Windows. Why is Linux faster than Windows? There are many reasons for Linux being generally faster than Windows. Firstly, Linux is very lightweight while Windows is fatty. In Windows, a lot of programs run in the background. Secondly, in Linux, the file system is very much organized. Files are located in chunks which are very close to each other. This makes the read-write operations very fast. On the other hand, Windows is dumpster, and files are present all over the place. Overview So, which one do you think is the best operating system? In my opinion, no OS is better than the other. However, both are unique and serve their best to specific user requirements and market needs. Both the OS have different marketing target. Linux offers great speed and security. On the other hand, Windows offers great ease of use so that even non-tech savvy people can work easily on personal computers. Linux is employed by many corporate organizations as servers and OS for security purpose while Windows is mostly employed by business users and gamers. Talking about cost, there are a lot of factors into the picture when we compare the cost of these two OS. We can't make a gross generalization that Linux is totally free or cheaper than Windows. Linux's license cost is zero. But we do have infrastructure cost, software support cost, and IT staffing cost for both Windows. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.